Praise God. Today, I'm going to be preaching from 1 Corinthians 15, verse 9. So this is about Saul, but um, when he changed his name to Paul. So this is about Paul. We all know the story of Paul. He was a man that persecuted the church. He was a man that killed many believers in Christ. And one day he was going to Damascus and he was going there to kill believers. But on the way there, God showed up and made him blind. There was a flash of light and he became blind. And people, his, people, his companions were looking around wondering what was going on. And he looked up and he realized he was blind. So they led him to Damascus and there was a man um, there uh, named Ananus. And the Lord told him to go to Paul and to heal him. Ananus was wondering why. He was a person that killed countless believers. He hated people with the passion. But the Lord said, go and do as I told you. So Ananus went and talked to Paul. And Ananus filled him with the Holy Spirit and prayed. And scales came off Paul's eyes. And he became a believer. He rose up and he became a believer. And so I'm going to be reading from here, from 1 Corinthians, verse 9. This is when Jesus resurrected and came to multiple believers, to show himself to multiple believers. Verse 9. For I am the least of the apostles, that am not me to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church of God. So here in this verse he's saying, I'm the lowest of the apostles. I'm not worried to be called an apostle because I persecuted the church, um, the church of God. I am not worthy to be called an apostle because I hunted down believers of God. And we continue reading. But by the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace, which was bestowed upon me, was not in vain, but I labored more abundantly than they all, yet not I, but the grace of God which was with me. What is grace? There's lots of different uh, meanings for grace, but the ones I really like are love, kindness, mercy, and forgiveness. So with the love of God, with the kindness of God, with the mercy of God, with the forgiveness of God, which was with me. And in a different um, um, version, it says that here in where it says, uh, Yet not I, but with the grace of God which is with me. In a different version it says, is it? Although it was not really my own doing, but with God's grace working with me. So it was not him that did it. It was not him that went out and prophesied. It was not him that got saved. But it was with God's mercy, with God's love, with God's kindness that he was saved. He was given grace to be saved. Even though he did so many horrible things, he was saved. He was forgiven. He was given grace. He was given a second chance. So with, what I'm trying to say here is that with God's love, with God's kindness, with God's mercy, with God's forgiveness, all wrapped up to turn into grace, 
He gave us this grace to be born again. He gave us this grace to have a chance to go out and work for him, to labor for him. Because we know we all sin sometime in our lives. We've all messed up somewhere. So did Paul. He even called himself the least of the apostles. But with his grace which was bestowed upon me, it was not in vain. So the grace that God gave us was not in vain. We work for him more than any, anyone else. We know we, what we did. Some of us did worse things, some of us did not as bad. But we still work for him. We work it off. We work off that grace because it was given us for free. Thank God that each of us got saved and we're all able to be here today. Amen.